Hey guys, Straight for Tech here with another video on my build. A lot of you asked about slim fans and whether they would fit inside the bottom of this NR200 alongside with this thick ROG Strix 3080. So today, we're going to be looking at the Noctua NFA 12x15s. How they're installed inside the case, as well as talk about how it affects the thermal performance on both the GPU and CPU. I've decided to splurge on this premium fan, which is my first ever Noctua's, and I've only heard good things about them being one, the best performing, as well as having a really low noise decibel. And we're going to find out if it's worth it in various configurations. Let me know in the comments section below what PC case fans you're rocking inside of your build. It comes with some anti-vibration mounts, a Y cable, which can connect two fans at a time, as well as a noise adapter, which lower the RPMs, as well as an extension cable, about 30 centimeters. Just for everybody's sake, the dimensions of this card is 2.9 slots, measuring at 31.9 by 14 by 5.8 centimeters. As you can see down below, there isn't much space to fit a normal 12 by 25 fan. So in this case, we're gonna have to go with the slim fans. Here, as you can see, we've added both case fans to the bottom as they're connected to the Y cable that attached to the CPU motherboard case fan headers. As you can see, there's barely any room for a normal size fan. That's why we had to go with the slim ones. For my testing setup, I decided to run ADA64 for a one hour stress test on the CPU, as well as running Unigen Heaven at 1440p resolution to test the GPU. We're gonna be testing the fan configurations for the radiator in a push versus a pull orientation, and the slim fans will be pulling air up into the GPU. After running these various configurations, here are the results of the temperatures for the CPU. With the radiator in a pull configuration, the CPU has a cooler temperature compared to it pushing through the radiator. As for adding slim fans at the bottom of the case, both scenarios increased its CPU temperatures. This is probably due to the fact that it's getting blown hot air from the GPU. As for the GPU temperatures, AIO orientation of push versus pull does make a difference to the GPU. For those of you who have recommended to me about adding slim fans on the bottom of the case, they did not change the temperature of the GPU either. So in the end, this honestly is not worth it unless you want a warmer space heater for the winter. Also, I will take this data with a grain of salt as I only did a couple of test runs in each configuration. But I am curious though if a smaller slot card like the FE or AMD's reference card would make a difference in temperature for the GPU. Potentially, deshrouding the GPU might help too but personally, you should probably save the money or add some top fans instead to exhaust all this heat out in a SFF PC case. Thanks for checking out this video. Hit the like button below if you found this information useful, as well as let me know in the comment section what kind of content you guys would like to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys. Peace.